Hello and welcome to a priori story timeless. Today we have a story. We're here visited by a little rabbit and Paco. There you go. Good to see you. You want to show off your colors a little bit there? It'll be okay. This is a uh, story called <coughs> Why the Leaves Have Many Colors in Autumn. A Wyandotte legend. The wise men turned to him who wrote. Then they looked at the trees on many hills. It was the autumn. The leaves had many colors. They said, we will tell you the story of the battle fought by the deer and the bear in the land of the sky. The bear was selfish and proud. He often made trouble among the animals of the council. When he heard that the deer had walked over the rainbow bridge into the skyland, he was angry. I will punish the deer, he said. The bear went to the rainbow bridge. He leaped along its beautiful way of glowing colors. He came into the skyland. There he found the deer and he said to him, this skyland is the home of the little turtle. Why did you come into this land? Why did you not come to meet us in the great council? Why did you not wait until all the animals could come to live here? Then the deer was angry. Only the wolf might ask him such questions. The bear had no right to speak like that to the deer. The deer said to the bear, you have gone about making trouble among the animals long enough. You shall never do that again. The deer said he would kill the bear and he arched his neck. He tossed his head to show his long, sharp horns. The hair along his back stood up. His eyes blazed as if a fire burned in them. He thought to slay the bear with a single stroke of his terrible horns. The bear was not afraid. His claws were very strong. He stood erect for the mighty conflict. His deep growls shook the sky like rolling thunder. The struggle was terrific and long. The bear was torn by the cruel horns of the deer. When the remaining animals of the great council heard the awful noise, the wolf went up into the sky to stop the dreadful battle. All the animals had to obey the wolf, so the deer turned and ran away, and the bear fled along the paths of the sky. As the deer ran, the blood of the bear dropped from his horns. It fell down to the lower world and made the leaves of the trees many colors. Some were red, some yellow, some were brown, some scarlet, and some crimson. Now, each year when the autumn comes, the leaves of the trees take on these many colors. The forests are flooded with soft and glowing beauty. The Wyandots then say the blood of the, bear, of the bear has again been thrown down from the sky upon the trees of the great island. Thank you, Rabbit. Thank you, Paco. Thank you all. <laughs>